Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, on this video, we're pretty much gonna be going over uh, a little bit about registers. And uh, here, I have a uh, picture of a modern Pentium processor. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys how uh, the registers are really it's built into the microprocessor. And it's really close also to the ALU, which is the algorithm and logic unit, and uh, they go pretty much almost hand in hand. That's why you see them so close to each other. And uh, what a register is, it's pretty much a place where you can uh, it's, it's a memory location, so you can store or the values or uh, location of memory. Now, in here, you can clearly see how it the execution execution unit it's really formed on these two and uh of course it's a modern look i do have it over here oh, let me move it here is a this the schematics for the 6502 and uh even though it's uh, a really old chipset from the 1970s you can really see it's pretty much still the same thing here you have the the algorithm and logic and uh and all of this is as you can see this is the raster x raster y and the accumulator this uh, these are the three major uh registers that we use and as you can see, all of them are connected on this bus the X, Y, and the accumulator goes all over here and it goes directly into your input and it goes into your uh, or LLU. Alright, now let's uh, jump to the code part. Okay, so now let's open our emulator. And uh, as you can see in your emulator, we have A, this register, the accumulator. Then you have register X and register Y right here. A, like I said, is the accumulator. It's used for, well, it's mainly used for uh, sub subtraction and addition. And of course, for logic uh, comparison with uh, bitwise and other operands. X and Y generally are used for storing memory locations, but they can also be used to uh, store uh, values, literal values of numbers as well. Uh, over here we have the stack pointer. When you go to uh, when you use a subroutine, the stack pointer is gonna uh, have the memory location to come back to so when you have a subroutine it will go to a different memory location execute all of the instructions and then you need this stack pointer to go back and here you have the pointer counter which, which is is gonna it's part of the uh, it's part of the fetch decode and execute the point counter is gonna point at the, the current memory location and then it's going to execute that and once it's done executing it goes to another point so it's pretty much it's a step-by-step -step, uh, counter where the, the computer or the processor know where it's at and uh, over here we have our flags that we're going to be using for uh, mainly for branching and jumping but this is always good to have over here. It's, that's why I like this emulator because it has all this uh, information needed over here. But now, if we go here to notes, this oh, pretty much giving you guys a rundown of the simulator. But here, you give you information like uh, the dollar sign represent a hex in the uh, sixty-five with you mainly. Of course, it can change depending on the 
assembler you have but here in this email I, I think pretty much the standard for the dollar sign to be a hex so in this location for it contains a random die but what we're looking for is memory location 200 to 5ff hex contains the, uh, contains the our pixel units that you're going to be using and here are the different values that the emulator has so let's do something quick let's put LDA which is the opcode for this pretty much means load A so load A if pound means the liter value, if it doesn't have pound it means just the address then let's put uh, hex2 but hex2 is still true so let's put 2 now let store the value that's in A to the address 200 200 hex now if we assemble and run over here, let's say no, successful, and we run, it should have the value of the remembers to a red pixel right over here. And here it is. And as you can see, the accumulator loaded to A is number two, and we're going to start that value to the memory location 200. So now if I reset click on debugger so you can step step instruction to instruction we're gonna step the first one as you can see we loaded the number value 2 the little value 2 to the accumulator and then we're gonna step one more time that is gonna store the value that's on the accumulator into the address 200 hex so if you step on it one more time, as you can see, there's a a red dot over here. Of course, we do have the others uh, X and Y register. So let's load X with uh, red. No, not red. No, it's white. Well, if it's one, this is going to be the address. So load X with one. Then store the value in X into 201 and let's load y uh, let's pick another color over here let's say blue the letter value let's put hex 6 which is going to be the same thing and a store think of a store y so store the value in y into the hex value of 202 so it should be red white and blue over here so let's assemble run here it is red red white and blue so let's reset let's debug over here see everything is zeroed out clear run oh my bad reset debug then you're gonna stop the accumulator is 2, you're going to start to the next step, it's going to be store the value that's in the accumulator of 2 to the address 200 in hex the next step is load x over here is 0 with 1 it worked, now it's going to, going to start that value that's in x to the next uh, memory location that corresponds this pixel that's why and now this should be 6 over here if we step as you see it became 6 now let's start and that's how it works okay that's gonna be it for this video thanks and uh, see you on the next one